Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, I'm playing with uh, the Scooby Doo palettes from Glamlight. Uh, they have about three eyeshadow palettes, a blush palette, a highlighter palette. Some of these are out of stock and some of these are available right now. So, um, yeah. I figured that we might as well just go ahead and get started and uh, go ahead and do. And um, as far as what I have on for my base today, um, I do have the Glow Oil by Supergoop and the ELF Halo Glow. This one is in Fair One. So that's what I have on as far as my primer today. And then I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop, uh, their concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers. And so when I'm doing a look that's going to require me to clean up because uh, these kind of dark colors do tend to, um, well, these ones blend extremely well. And they do uh, tend to smear a little bit. So um, having a really good concealer that, in my case, has some coverage to it. And this one has hyaluronic acid in it. I love that part. So um, it just goes ahead and uh, makes cleanup a lot easier. So again, I find one that has a little bit of coverage to go ahead and help you as far as doing the cleanup. And um, as far as what I have on the rest of the face, used a couple of Flower Beauty products today. This one is the Bronzer and Sunrise, and yes, the package is all beaten up, and that's because I really like this bronzer and I use it a lot. And um, so, yeah, I definitely go ahead and tear through packaging, so... Um, the other one that I'm using from Flower is the Spotlight and Gleam. This is their highlighter, and so I actually used it as, as a blush topper today. As far as what I have on from Glamlight, um, I do have the Scooby-Doo blush palette on, and so it's holographic here. It's pretty cool. It has Scooby and the girls, and then you turn it, and it just has Velma and um, Daphne on it. So... And, um, yeah, I forgot their names. And this was one of my favorite TV shows back in the day. And I just, I blanked on their names a couple of times. But anyway, um, so I have uh, this uh, blush on the back of my cheekbone, this one on the front. And like I said, I do have the Gleam from Flower. Um, I used it as a blush topper. So that that's what I kind of have on today. And then as far as what I did for the actual eye looks, um, I did go ahead and use a combination of the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara and the Superhero It Mascara. And with these looks, yeah, they're going so deep and dark that um, probably this is definitely the kind of look that traditionally uh, you go ahead and put an eyelash big eyelash, you know, fake eyelash with. So um, that isn't really what I want to do right now. But I, yeah, if I was going to be going out, I would definitely probably do a lash with this. And um, right now we have folks that are in um, the hospital. So I'm sort of doing this not only to do a video, but to get my mind off of stuff that I can't do anything about right now. So... Um, as far as working with this palette, it's a Scooby-Doo Creeps and Crawls. It's very new to me. Um, I actually got it when I got the, uh, the new big Scooby-Doo palette that came out. And I picked up this one since it was still available and I didn't have it. And this is a very dark, sultry kind of palette. So this is what it looks like, and um, I did use quite a lot of it as far as what I did on this eye over here. Um, I basically used this quad right here, uh, and so I started with this one in the crease. I used this one right above the crease to help it blend out, give it a little bit of the highlight kind of look there. Um, let's see, I did this uh, shimmer on the inside of the lid, or yeah, on the, yeah, 
from the inner corner about halfway and then this um, other shimmer on from about halfway through the lid to the outer part of the lid and so that's what I have on there as far as the way that the look turned out Let's see if we can do this I think that yeah that should give you a good look so that's how that turned out oh and I did oh I forgot <laughs> I did use a little bit of this on the inner corner as an inner corner highlight. So yeah, that's what I did there. And then as far as uh, the blue look that I did over here, it's a blue and teal look. So um, in the crease, I put this shadow from the inner corner about half to about halfway. And then um, from about halfway to the outer corner, I went ahead and used this shade. And so that's what's in the crease. I did the same thing as far as the actual um, eyeliner. So I took this one from the inner corner to about halfway, and then this shadow about halfway to the outer corner. And so that's what I did as far as the eyeliner. And um, let's see. Oh, I didn't tell you what I did there. Okay, hold on. We'll we'll do that too. As far as the uh, the lid colors with this one, I put this again from the inner corner to about halfway, and then this one from about uh, halfway to the outer corner. So that's what I did as far as this one. And uh, the mattes are really, really blendable, and that's really good because these are really dark colors. And the, um, the uh, let's see, the shimmers, uh, they're metallics. They actually have a lot, a lot of pigment in them. And as far as the red look, that, or it's a, it's a red purple. So this one definitely here, this one is a purple based on red, and so yeah, um, I this is what I went ahead and used for the eyeliner over here, and um, yeah, and like I said, I had used this one on the inner corner, so it's all uh, this red purple right here that I went ahead and used as the eyeliner, and um, uh, again, they have a lot of pigment, they blend really well, they're really pretty. You can build them up um, with this one since it's such a dark color. I could have gone ahead and built it up a lot more, but it was so dark anyway that I didn't really feel that I needed to. And so, um, yeah, I like both the looks. I wasn't too sure about the one, the um, this one, which is the one that has the purple uh, based on red. But actually, it turned out really pretty. I thought maybe it was kind of going to look like a 1980s kind of look and not be dark enough. But yeah, the shimmers definitely darkened it to the point that I don't think I look like I'm, you know, recreating a 1980s look, which actually would kind of go because, you know, all of these cartoons, 70s and 80s, were when they were made. So yeah, it but it didn't. And I really like the way that the look turned out. The formula is great. Glamlight does a great formula. Um, they're doing different things with their palettes, which is I really like because I like to test my creativity and play with different colors. And um, yeah, I would recommend any of the Glamlight Scooby-Doo, um, any of that uh, collection. It's a big collection. Uh, they have some stuff that hasn't come back into stock. They had a makeup bag. They had a highlighter. Um, but the Scooby-Doo, uh, the eyeshadow palettes, I think all three of them are still available. I'm not sure, but I know two are available. These, uh, the tin pans and with the larger one, they said that it was going to be a limited release. Um, but so far, it still looks like it's on there. So, um yeah, the beautiful palette, um, and it definitely gives you some really dark, sultry kind of looks. And yeah, it's um, it's very dramatic, very much the mystery creepy crawlies. So um, 
I guess that's the video, and I'll see you later, and hope you have a great day. Bye.